Oh, we got some mail. Uh, all right, where are you going? Oh, wow, look at this, it's so pretty. Oh, somebody's got mail. Hello, Zebra Herd, welcome to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. This is a remake of a classic Game Boy and Nintendo DS game in the Pokemon world. This is a whole lot different than your average Pokemon game, and I am so excited to get to it. I've played this game a tiny bit in the past, but I really haven't gotten that far into this series before, so I think this is a fantastic start to get playing a remake of the originals. Let me know if you plan on getting this one. With that being said, let us get started with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. So we can start a new game, but I love this. Look, we can admire the illustration. It's a little uh, Psyduck talking to Eevee. Oh, I'm so excited because the Pokemon talk in this game and you get to interact with them. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. Ooh. Oh, I like this. You're going to going bungee jumping for the first time. Oh no. Since it's scary, you decide to test the jump with a doll. The bungee cord snaps. Will you still try to make a make a jump anyways? Uh, probably not, especially since I won't have a bungee cord anymore. There is a person you like, but there's no opportunity to get close. That's a shame. What do you do? Bra bravely declare my love. Might say hello. Pull a prank to get attention or look from afar. I mean, if I have the chance to say hello, then I think there might be a chance to get close, right? Uh, I'll say hi. Always want to be polite. A friend brought over something you'd forgotten. How do you thank your friend? Say thank you regularly. Say thanks for the joke. Say thanks, but be cool. I mean, if it's something I really appreciate, I'll say thank you a lot. On vacation outings, you want to go alone or go with us? It depends. I can totally appreciate a vacation on my own and just being able to go out and do that and have some fun and just have like that kind of experience. But also going with others, others is so much fun too. Ah oh, man, I wish it was a both option because I enjoy both equally. I'll, I'll say going with others though. Are you often late for school or meetings? No, I, I like to try to be on time. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe I'm not very good at it, but at least I try my best. Do you occasionally consider yourself dull and overly cautious? I wouldn't say so. Just some deep questions. It's a weekend, but no one will play with you. Aw, what do you do? Go on a trip? Hang around vacantly, huddle in a corner. I mean, I don't mind staying home and doing my own thing, but I wouldn't call that vacant or huddling. I mean, I guess the best thing would be huddling, just chilling out. All right. Grab any digit on your left. I don't have hands, I have hooves. This is this is apply to me. All right, well, let me imagine that I have a hand with five digits. Grab any digit on your left hand with your right hand. All right, well, in my mind, I grabbed the ring finger. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? We'll go with boy this time. Because I know this is sort of, is it two games in one? I know this like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team had like two different things. You appear to be, oh, is that choosing our Pokemon? Look at all the different options. The hardy type, ooh. You do your homework diligently and you know to eat properly. You have strong willpower that lets you complete tasks, however tough but you can also be stubborn to the point of even feuding with friends. Nothing will go right for you when you're irritated, so learn to laugh it off. A hardy person like you should be... Oh, what is it gonna be? It's gonna be Bulbasaur! All right, I'm happy with Bulbasaur. He's a uh, grass poison type. Yes, exactly or no, that isn't right. I wanna see the other options. I mean, they're sort of blurry right now, but I see uh, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Pikachu, Charmander, Psyduck, Machop, Eevee. Some other ones that are covered up. Um, really cool, yes, exactly. <laughs> so cool. It's like a little personality test. This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose the Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. Who will be your partner? 
No, wait, I didn't mean it. No, wait, okay. Oh, can I see? So we have Charmander here, he's fire type. We also have Cyndaquil, also fire type. I'm gonna go through all of them just so that, in, in case you don't know the names, or me. <laughs> There's some of these I don't know the names of. Uh, Psyduck, which is a water type. Up this way we have um, Totodile, also a water type. Squirtle. Some of these are starters, some of them are not. Uh, I think this is Mudkip. Yep, it's Mudkip. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, Pikachu over this way. Electric type. That's the only electric type I see. Very interesting. Might be useful to do that then. Uh, we also have Torchic, who's a fire type. And over here we have Cubone, who's ground type. And then a couple more on the bottom. I don't know this one. Skitty, normal type. That's the only normal type. Well, probably Eevee as well. Eevee, yep, normal type. Uh, Meowth is likely a normal type as well, I think. Yep. <laughs> Meowth looks really cute in this. And then finally, uh, we have Machop, who's a fighting type. I don't know who to go for. I think Psyduck. Psyduck, to me, I relate to Psyduck a lot. All right, let's go with Psyduck. Should your partner be a boy or a girl? We'll go with boy. So, a boy Psyduck is right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what is your partner's nickname? Oh, we get to choose a name for them. I mean, I'm following Psyduck, but that is a little weird. Uh, I don't know. Um, hmm, lots of options. What did that Psyduck look like to me? I think he looked like a George. So we're going with George. Where's R? There it is. There's a weird keyboard because it's alphabetical instead of like the normal like QWERTY keyboard. All right. Uh, wait. There we go, George. Is George all right for a nickname? Yeah, sure. He seems to like it. I wonder if we'll be able to meet all those other Pokemon. Are these two all right? I guess so. So we are a, a Venusaur, and we also have, or Bulbasaur, sorry. And we also have Psyduck as a partner. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Go for it. I'd love to. Oh, wow. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let me know what, what team you ended up choosing. I'd love to hear about that. But yeah, this is, I know that this game had multiple versions like most Pokemon games do. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Hey! Hey, wake up! Wake up already! Hmm? Oh, hey, hi, George. Oh, good, you finally came too. Ugh. Whoa, look at how pretty this is. It looks like something out of like Winnie the Pooh. Where is this? You were passed out there, I'm glad you woke up. I'm George, glad to meet you. So, who might you be? I haven't seen your face around here. Huh? You say you're a human? I'm not a human, I just not what I said. I'm a zebra. But any which way I look at you, you're a normal Bulbasaur. Uh-oh, that's not right either. So we just wake up in the world of Pokemon as a Pokemon. It's it's true. I've turned into a Bulbasaur. But why? I, I don't remember anything. You're some kind of weird. So what's what's your name? What do you call yourself? My name? That's right, my name is, I know my name, it's Zebra. No, it's not Bulbasaur, let's back that up. I don't wanna be Bulbasaur Zebra. Wait, no, well, okay, what happened? What are these letters? I don't need these, A, B, C, there we go. Z, E, B, R, oh, R, and A. This keyboard is still super weird. But there we go, that's perfect. Is Zebra okay? Yep. Uh-huh, Zebra. That's a funny name. Oh, come on. Somebody, please help me. Uh-oh. Huh? I hear shouting over there. What's oh, a little Butterfree? What's the matter? It's horrible. My Caterpie fell into the cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fissure opened up in the ground. My Caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, baby Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the fissure and are out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to defend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. We can't just do nothing. 
Let's go help this kid. Right. All right, so let's go save him, little Caterpie. So this game does not play like your aver average Pokemon game. Tiny Woods, B1F. This is actually what they call a dungeon crawling game. There's a lot of games like it, but none in the Pokemon series before this one. Uh, well, the original, it's not this remake. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is, it's a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon is a truly mysterious place. The layout in it and the items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but first, we have to find the stairs. And you, and you remember that, that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we gotta fight. We can do it, Zebra. All right. Try using the left analog stick to walk. You can also move with the directional buttons. All right. So as you can see, I can move around and Psyduck will follow me. Very interesting. Uh Oh, here we go. Use moves. Use a move with A. So we either have Iron Tail, Electro Ball. Okay, we have different moves here. What is our move? Sludge. Okay. So we just got a Sun Kern. So as you can see, that's how you battle in this game. It's, it's a lot different than your average Pokemon experience. So I've been really looking forward to this one. They only announced it earlier this year. There's a little uh, uh, Wurmple. Bam, Sludge. There we go. Oh, and here is a, uh, is this a Pidgeot? Oh, you were sleeping. Take that. Nice. So we were able to get the sneak up on her, which really helped. That was Pidgey. Nothing down this way. Okay, well, let's go here. And... Anything up this way? Doesn't it seem like peculiar that there's like this little spot? Oh, we can move diagonally, I didn't know that. All right. Uh, okay, there are the stairs and there's nothing else here. Okay, I just sort of looking over, pushing Psyduck around. Would you like to go on? Yeah, sure. So we're going to the second floor now. You yellow, teammates green, items blue, enemy Pokemon are red, stairs are white. So now we know all the different colors. So are there any items? Oh, there are. So let's first. Hit you with Sludge. We don't have any other move, it seems, but for right now, I got myself a coin. Poke is the money of this world. You can use it when you want to buy something. Cool, we picked up 150 of it. it looks like George actually got it for us. Yeah, George hasn't really done too much yet, but I'm sure he'll help us attack eventually. Uh, there's a little berry as well. It's weird that you have these open spots with nothing in them. Hey, I was gonna grab that, all right. Eat an orange berry to restore some HP. To eat one, press X to open the X menu, and then select a bag. So here we go, what, are, what is in this menu? We have bag, status, move settings, underfoot, okay. Uh, look around, others, and then back to bag. So we can go into here, we could eat an orange berry, but I'm full on health, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. Excuse me, Psyduck, I would like to keep moving. Press L for auto mode. Let's look around. So the game will sort of play itself. That's weird. All right, we found some some poke, some poke coins. I'm gonna call it poke coins. That just feels, I don't know, more natural to me. So I'm just letting the game play itself right now. I I, I think I can I want to play the game. Auto mode cancellation. When you encounter enemy Pokemon in auto mode, the mode. Okay, there we go. So it's only for like when you're running around looking for stuff. There's an enemy nearby, so auto mode can't be used. Hey, -ya, sludge. And there we go. Got rid of Sunkern. It doesn't look like there's anything else, so we're going down. So this is already a lot of fun. I like this game. Uh, the weather has lost its effect due to an ability. Oh, whoa, whoa, we got execute. The Pokemon won't get the sleep, napping, yawning, or nightmare status conditions if their status is sleepless, I guess. Uh, the status wears off when the Pokemon moves to the next floor. So we're currently sleepless. Uh, water gun, take that, thank you, George. Uh, go, Sludge, there we go, all right. Anything else going on around here? I don't think so. So I know for a fact, because you can see there are there are items on the map on the left. So there's a lot to figure out. First off, let's go this way and pick up whatever items we can find. All right, that was 37 coins in total there. What about this way? Okay, wait, there we go. And you might be noticing on the map, every time we move one space, you can see there's an enemy moving closer, they will move one space as well. So that's something strategically we're going to have to keep in mind later on when the enemies get more difficult. And like I said, I've not really played this game too much before, but I have played other games in this genre of dungeon crawling. Right, so there's, there's some extra coins, and let's take on this last enemy. Actually, there's another enemy now. There's Sludge on the sleeping sun current. Okay, whoa, level up! Okay, we can level up. So we got from level five to level six. We got some extra, extra stats across all of it. HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. I leveled up. Yes, he did. And here's some more uh, executes. I missed. Not good. There we go. And there we go. So that looks like everybody here. 
And every time we move a space, we're healing up a little bit. Yeah, I would like to go on. Oh, I think we're reaching something. Oh no, there's a little caterpie. Wow. Mommy, where are you? We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting, let's get you out. Okay. And there we go. Xavier successfully completed the, the rescue at Tiny Woods. There's so much space on this note for text. And it just takes up such a tiny amount of, of the note. It's just weird. <laughs> okay. Um, my baby's safe. I'm sorry, I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, don't worry, lady. There have been a lot of quakes and fissures lately. It's dangerous. I'm glad your little guy's not hurt, honestly. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm George. And this is Zebra. Can we not talk? Like, do they not hear us? I don't know. Well, no, I think they do. Cool. <laughs> Caterpie likes us. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes, it's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, George and Zebra. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. You got a tiny reviver seed. You got a Petcha Berry. And 500 coins, that's quite a lot, thank you. Thank you so much, goodbye. Well, I'm glad we could save little Caterpie there. Hey, thanks for helping me out. You're pretty tough, I respect that. So, uh, what are you going to do after this, I mean? No, oh, we don't know. Say, Zebra, if you don't have anywhere to stay, why don't you come with me? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, this is the place. Oh, it's so sweet. It's a little tree house, sort of. I mean, it's a house that's a tree, but it's not like a house in a tree. Wow, I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being. No, I'm not. <laughs> Stop telling me what I am. <laughs> but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. It might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. Doesn't matter, I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a Bulbasaur. Oh? Zebra? I can not I can tell you're impressed. I thought you'd like it. I figured you'd find this an easy place to live, Zebra. In fact, I was sure that you'd like it. This is your mailbox. This is where you'll get mail from other Pokemon. You know that Fisher Caterpie fell into? There's been other natural disasters like that all of a sudden. A lot of Pokemon out there are hurting from those disasters. I want to help Pokemon like that. I want to help make this, make this a safer place for Pokemon. And uh, I think you're capable after seeing how you did rescuing Caterpie. How would you like to form a rescue team with me? Zebra, I think we'd make the, world the, greatest, the world's greatest rescue team. How about it? Refuse? No, I'm not gonna refuse. This is what I wanna do. Okay, that's done it. Starting right now, me and you, Zebra, we're partners. I'm counting on you. The team's name, actually, I haven't thought of one yet. Hey, Zebra, what do you think would be a good team name? Well, obvious excitement? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. There's, oh, there's a random button. I'm sort of curious to see what it'll give us if we press random. Um, tenacity, grit, Lightfoot, top helpers, Pokemon, that was a little lazy. <laughs> Allies, sparkly day. I'm gonna do Zebra Heart, of course. We gotta keep with the branding. Uh, but, <laughs> I love how lazy, Pokemon. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so basic. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it's just, it's just interesting. There we go. Uh, Boop, boop, and boop. There we go. And is Zebra Herd okay? Yep. Zebra Herd. Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. Oh, and one more thing. I had decided to wear this on the, the day I got started on a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put, put them on. Well, what are they? Zebra put on the scarf he got from George. Ah, oh, the little scarves. Oh, is ours around our bulb? Ooh, nice. Zebra looks good on you. Wearing this makes me feel focused, like we're on a team, you know? Rescue Team Zebra Herd. We begin tomorrow, let's do it. Oh, that is so adorable. So I, I can't wait to grow our team. And that is how Zebra and George began their careers together as a rescue team. Wow, what a beginning. I already really like this game. It's gonna be a lot of fun to explore and save the world of Pokemon. But what's happening now? The next morning. Hello, Bulbasaur. I mean, me. <laughs> I'm still the same. 
The way I look, I'm still a Bulbasaur. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm, I don't understand this at all. Neither do I. I'm just rolling with it. Oh, that's right, the Pokemon. I think it was George? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what George is doing. I should go out. Well, let's take a look around first. Can we mess with anything? Get some food? Not really. Hmm. Uh-oh, is he okay? Did we make him sleep outside? George, are you all right? You could have, we could have shared. Huh? Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. I was so excited I've been waiting out, out here since dawn. I guess I just fell asleep. Anyway, our rescue team officially begins. Let's do this right. What do we do? So, uh, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> That's okay, we'll find some. Everybody needs help at some point. Oh yeah, maybe there's something in the mailbox. It looks like it. George checked the mailbox. The ma mailbox contained the rescue team starter set. I knew it'd be there. It's the rescue team starter set. You always get one when you start a rescue team. George opened the rescue team starter set. There was a rescue team badge inside and a toolbox and Pokemon news, an issue of Pokemon news. Yeah, there's all sorts of good stuff in it. This rescue team badge, it's proof that you're in a rescue team. This toolbox too, you can use it to keep items that you find in dungeons. I'll put that stuff, uh, I'll put the stuff that Butterfree gave us in here. Might as well put it to good use. Items are really useful, let's use them on our adventures. And we have here a copy of the Pokemon news. It's use, it's, it has useful information for rescuers. I'll leave the Pokemon news in the mailbox. You should read it later. And let's see, is there any other mail? Did we miss anything? George checks the mailbox, but the mailbox was empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we would be getting mail, but I guess no one knows us because we just started this team. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh, what's happening now? Huh, what's up? Oh, hey. It's one of the uh, Pelippers, I think. Clunk, <laughs> we got more mail. So let's check it out. Actually, let's talk to you first. Maybe this is it. Zebra, how about checking the, your mailbox? Our mailbox, buddy. Um, Maybe it's a rescue job request. Come on, what's it say? Zebra read the letter. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through the, through a dungeon, and it stuck Magnemite and Magnemite together. That isn't enough to form a magneton, so it's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Magnemite's friend. <laughs> what do you think, should we go for it? Yeah, let's go, it's our first job. That's what I wanna hear, let's do this right. Yeah. <laughs> so as a team, we're going to go and save um, some two Magnemites in Thunder Wave Cave. That's a long way from here. And we're here already. Oh, you are here, bzz, bzz. My friend, uh, my friends are in this cavern. My friend should be on B6F. Please help them, bzz. All right, let's go. I like this music already. Thunder Wave Cave, 4-1. The water has lost its effect due to an ability. All right then, hold B and press the left analog stick to dash. All right, we, whoa, okay, they're quick, they're really quick. Um, Wasn't expecting that much dashing. Ah, uh, uh, okay, what do we got? Apples, if your belly is feeling empty, eat an apple to recover. If your belly reaches zero, your HP will go down every time you take a move. That's bad. So yeah, I think our belly is a little orange circle on the top, right? Check the items you're carrying. You can press B to open your toolbox. It's quicker than going from the, from the X menu. Indeed, and we have our apple right here. Uh, eating this fills your belly a bit. If you eat it when your belly is full, it increases your belly's capacity slightly during that adventure. Gotcha. We also have a peck berry. berry. Eating this uh, heals your poisoned or badly poisoned condition. Tiny reviver seed. If this item is in your toolbox, it will revive a fainted Pokemon. It turns into a plain seed once it revives a Pokemon. And then finally, an orange berry. Eating it restores HP. Additionally, it increases your max HP during that adventure only. If your max HP is 100 or more, your max HP won't increase unless you eat this berry when your HP is full. Oh, there's a little Rattata. There we go. Oh, we used Vine Whip that time. So we can't really control which moves we use. I just keep pressing A and it just sort of is what it is. That's interesting. So what's this way? Uh, 
Got ourselves another berry. Thank you, George, for doing that. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Oh, this is a uh, Voltorb. Oh gosh, whoa, can I move out of the way when that happens? I can't. All right, well, we got him. Nothing else going on in this floor, so the first floor is done. So we're getting used to this. Yes, I would like to go on. Thunderwave Cave Floor 2. Okay, whoa, that is so weird. I gotta get used to it for sure. If you face multiple enemies at once, retreat to a corridor and fight them one at a time. Oh, nice strategy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, not what I wanted. So they're all doing their moves. For every one move you make in a dungeon, your opponents will also make one move. Turns always go in order. On the other hand, if you don't move, neither will your opponents. Take your time to choose your actions wisely. So if we just stay here, nobody will do anything. Ow, okay, that got us. We gotta be careful when people can attack. Uh, there we go, water gun, very nice. They can attack in any direction. We can use sludge there. That got rid of them. Nice water gun. Nice. That's enough to take him out. Okay, we're doing good. So that's sort of the trade-off though. When you, you're doing a battle, afterwards you can move around to heal up over time, but then you're also going down in hunger. Hold R and use left stick to walk diagonally. I mean, we could already do that just normally, but I guess if we just wanna very specifically not accidentally go the wrong direction in a pinch. Well, there we go. We got max ether, that might be useful. And what's going on down here? We got ourselves a Rattata. Uh, choose a move with Z, oh, here we go. Uh, hold down ZL and choose which move you want to use with A, B, X, or Y. And I'm guessing things follow, oh, okay, here we go. There's an enemy nearby, so auto mode, okay. Did I do the wrong one? Yeah, I did. These all have different typings, I'm sure. You know, like tackle is normal, vine whip and seed bomb are grass, sludge is poison. I'm guessing they follow typical typing in that way, so if we do run into a water type, I'm guessing the grass will be super effective. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's gonna work. Anyways, there's that floor done. Moving on to the third one. If you faint in a dungeon, if you're in a dungeon and fail on your adventure, you'll lose all of the items and money you're carrying. Oh, that's tough. They don't play around. So we'll have to be very careful. Focus energy, oh no. So he's attacking, wow, that was a big leap he just did. Uh, so can I attack from here? Well, I don't need to, there's nobody to attack. Okay, I'm silly. Ah, confusion. George is going at him right now, took out Nidoran. So let's go this way. And there's an item, another berry, that is a Pekka berry, berry again. Oh, hello. What are you, you're, are you like either minus or plusle? You're Minin, that's what it's called. Uh, I know, I'm trying to do this. There's Sludge, I missed Sludge, I'm not doing so well right now. There we go, fine one. Oh, too late. What is this? Wonder Tile. When you step on a Wonder Tile in a dungeon, your lowered stats will return to normal, but if your stats have been boosted, they'll also return to normal, so watch out. So it's just sort of like a reset button. Gotcha. Moving down to here then. What else do we got going on? I mean, that seems to be everything for this room, this is just the exit. But over this way, we got a couple of items. And we have more of these tiles, which I don't have anything really boosted anyways, so it doesn't really change much. Oh wait, oh, there's more enemies down here now. So eventually they do restore, it seems. I gotta be careful with that though, because just because I can attack them probably doesn't mean I should. Ow, that hurt. That's mostly because I only have so much hunger, remember. So if we go ahead and eat an apple, eat. Let's give it to me, because George is actually totally full. And that got me up to 90 again, very good. So let's just leave. Now I don't wanna attack. Yep, I'd like to go on. Thunder Wave Cave, B4F. Change the leader, ooh. You can change the leader of the Pokemon you control by pressing plus. You'll be able to control Pokemon other than just the hero. That's awesome. Adventure tips, you can check out how to play by pressing the minus button. You can find a lot of good tips for adventuring here. Really, okay, so as you can see, I'm not gonna read through all these right now, but if I was ever curious about something, I can figure it out there. We could also switch to Psyduck now. And what moves does he have? Confusion, Zen Headbutt, Scratch, and Water Gun. Let's try Zen Headbutt. Missed, great. <laughs> there we go, and he fainted, yes! Did you get a level up? Yes, you did, and George gets level six. Glad to see it. Yeah, leveled up. So let's switch back to, uh, 
Bulbasaur for right now. And I just, I don't know what move is gonna be good against you. I mean, that seemed to work just fine. All right, then. I didn't mean to do that, whoops. Okay, uh, over this way we got some money. We actually have the way out already, which is not really what I'm looking for. Okay, buddy, watch it. Got the sludge, maybe Psyduck can help, or maybe he doesn't even have to. Yeah, that's not gonna reach. I don't know if things have like a certain range, it looks like it. I don't know how to de how it determines that, but Minin fainted, and we gotta level up as well, we're now level seven. Oh, Leech Seed. We gotta forget a move. So Leech Seed is down this way. This is also a good opportunity to take a look at our current move. So we have uh, Vine Whip. It damages an enemy and it reaches up to two tiles away. It's very accurate, but it has very low uh, power. Um, it's a Grass type. Uh, this is uh, Sludge. It damages an enemy. It could also make the enemy poison. That sounds pretty good. There's also Tackle. It damages an enemy. Not really too important, so we'll probably put it over that. We also have Seed Bomb. It damages an enemy. Um, and then Leech Seed. It gives an enemy Leech Seed status condition, which I think makes it so that we steal their health. See, so yeah, I'm going to put this over Tackle because I just don't think we need Tackle all that much. And let's find out what's going on around here. So we have ourselves just a couple of coins. That was just sort of the long way around. Um, so yeah, let's keep moving. No, 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 what was that, man? The game sort of skips out a little bit when you, when you sprint. Yep. So, four or five, we're trying to get the floor six. And George picked up 10 coins, that's good. There are some enemies waiting for us. Oh, we have a uh, Alakid. So let's try our new uh, Leaf Seed. Yeah, I don't know how much it's really helping. <laughs> Maybe for more strong opponents it would help out. Oh, here comes Voltorb. Can we hit you with Fine Whip from here? No, we can't, oh no. Okay, turn around. That gives him the opportunity to attack, though. I won't do Sludge. Nice. And what's going on in this room? We have ourselves uh, Max Ether. We have the way out if we wanted it. We got some coins. Thank you for grabbing those. Yeah, sometimes it's just good to just let it do what it wants to do. Okay. Oh, here we go. Move growth. Your moves sometimes power up as you use them. A moves gauge can ch gauge changes from that to that to that to that. <laughs> and when it's full, the move will power up, increasing in power, accuracy, and PP. The amount of move grows is shared by your team. So if your whole team uses the same move, that move's growth will be faster, interesting. Um, so there is worth it. There's worth in getting synergy. Very interesting for sure. I wanted to go down this way just to make sure there's nothing. And there's not. See, I don't know what that little symbol over our head is right now. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, it must be some negative status. What if we do this? There we go. Yeah, I don't know what that status was. Doesn't matter too much, we're going into the 6-4. Oh, and here they are. They're stuck together, the poor things. Oh, hey, there they are, let's get them out. Oh, that was it, I thought there maybe was gonna be a battle or something. All right, Zebra successfully completed the job at Thunder Wave Cave. Our bodies separated, bzz, bzz. rejoice, bzz, bzz. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Be thankful, you two. You are our heroes, thank you. You got a big apple. You got an orange berry. And 650 coins. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. Boy, I'm sure glad our, our rescue went well today. I have to admit, since that was our first job as a rescue team, I was really nervous. I'm wiped out, I'll go home and get some sleep. Let's do this again tomorrow, see ya. Wait, do you have somewhere else that you live? All right, I guess we just stay here. Oh, look at us snooze. Oh, what's happening now? Where, where am I? Maybe, is this a dream? Oh, there's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? I can't remember. Oh, there's something going on. Maybe we have a deeper purpose for being a Pokemon right now. I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailbox. 
but we'll definitely go and check the mailbox, but I think we'll save that for next episode. I have had so much fun with this game already. I cannot wait to continue exploring it and saving more Pokemon and just being a wonderful member of our rescue team and hopefully grow that team. So definitely let me know if you're enjoying this series and if you want to see more soon, because I'll definitely be working on it. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.